alhamdulillah from the understanding of numbers and realities that everything is expressed in the numbers one through nine and they are the most powerful and the building block of all creation. Everything else in two digits is the sum of these two numbers. So 12 is 1 and 2, 22 and 0 but the building block and the foundation of creation is expressed in the codes between 1 and 9 and from the first month through the ninth month, ninth month of the journey towards Divine Realities. We spoke before from Mawlana Shaykh's teaching that the holy month of nine and the holy month of Ramadan is under the secret of the nine, the, under the secret of that reality and that that nine is the sultan of numbers. It is the power of annihilation that they want to take us on a 12 month journey because 12 signifies completion. Our life is eternal. We move through the door of the first lunar month, that first hijab and it is da'im, it is an eternal journey and eternal purification process. From one, Wa'awul khalqillah is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad soul. That the first of Allah's creation is expressed with that one. The oneness because this is the realities of creation so means don't make reference to Allah in this circle of creation. So Allah's ahadiyya reality, unique oneness is dressing the oneness of Sayyidina Muhammad who al wahid. That that unique reality of Prophet that all creation from the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad from the circle of Sayyidina Muhammad is the one and awwal all the way to the nine representing the khatam. Nine is a sultan in numbers. Anything fused and multiplied by nine reduces itself back to nine, showing you its power of annihilation. With whatever character you approach, with whatever thing we think, when we approach the reality of Prophet he annihilates every bit of your uniqueness, make you to be nothing and bring us into the uniqueness of Sayyidina Muhammad That is the reality of annihilation because we come into the world like a drop and we give ourselves form and importance relative to who we are. So we see ourselves very big, as soon as you go into the plane up in the sky what happens? Hey, where am I? And that's what Prophet wants from us. But look, you're nothing. You're giving yourself relevant to who you think you are in, a, in importance. In this universe you're an epsilon, nothing, non-existent, not even visible. And that is the ocean of annihilation. So with all characters they come, so Allah wants them to complete that favor by La ilaha illallah to reach the realities and the secrets of La ilaha illallah Allah granted the secret of Muhammadun Rasulullah that come towards that reality it will efface all of your identity and bring you as a drop back into the ocean. So we said before Mawlana is teaching as many drops you add together they always come to one. Form can be many but one drop plus one drop plus one drop is always one drop. One light plus one light plus one light is what? One light. It means the world of light is it, it goes back in its natural reality of oneness. So Prophet annihilates the form and that is the concept of the Hajj that Prophet wanted us to understand. With all your identity and all your wealth and all your uniqueness and all your talent and your thoughts of who you are. You come for Hajj, take all your clothes off, take all your identity off, take all your wealth off, wear two robes and circumambulate in an ocean of millions of people. Again from the outside you look, it's just a white ocean moving. 
just like the drop that got you into this world, like a, a drop of sperm, no identity, just white and shining. Means everything about the nine teaches us to efface and they begin to teach the reality of that nine. It annihilates everything and what comes after the nine is a nuqt, is a dot. If the dot from a distance is a dot but when you take that nuqt and you take that dot with a microscope and begin to look, what do you see? The dot opens. You begin to see a circumference and still another dot because the pen that you put it on it leaves that dot as you analyze with a, a microscope or electron microscope they go into it. That dot as you approach it, it becomes a circumference with another dot in the middle. You zoom more, it becomes a bigger circumference with another circumference of the dot you saw before with another dot still in the middle. This universe is infinitely capable of expanding and that is the reality of the nine. They begin to teach. So in geometry when we study the circle, any way you cut the circle is a nine. That's how that nine will efface you and bring you back to your reality. The reality of what you exist in this circle of creation means if you take that circle and break it with four lines, they're 90 degrees, it's a nine. The circle itself 360, three plus six plus zero is a nine. 90, 90, 90, 90 is a nine, 90 degrees is a nine. Means any way you cut the circle, 45 degree angle, 60 degree angle, it will render itself back to a nine. So then the reality of the nine when it annihilates it takes you to be a nuqt, it takes you that's why they call it submission. It takes you to annihilation and takes you back to the point of zero, the circle because we don't have circle, we have nuqt. That nuqt is what's the ocean of annihilation. So you have one, awal, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all small and then nine. So what do you see? One and nine. This is now the secret of nineteen. Then the dot and begins to open the reality of the dot and the reality of annihilation that we are all just points on the circumference trying to make our way into the center of realities. And the power of Ramadan is that when you fast the month of Ramadan Allah annihilates all bad characteristics from power of Holy Qur'an. Means all of the individualness that makes us to be far from the world of light will be annihilated with Ramadan. That's why the ninth month Allah ordered the fasting. That with the power of Holy Qur'an I'm going to annihilate everything that keeping you from this reality and keeping you to want to be an independent drop. So it annihilates and effaces and brings us back into that ocean of oneness. So then the month that opens of the ten has to do with being a nothing to reach the presence of the one. Once they efface you and make you to submit, you're like a dot, nothing. What's going to come now? The two digit numbers one and zero which is a dot. If they take you to the point of being a dot to be nothing, ghashiya, then they begin to take you into the tenth month which is into the movement into the presence of the Divinely Oceans, into the Heavenly Kingdom. They take the, not, the dot to move into the presence of the One, to be dressed by the presence of the One to be blessed by the presence of the One. Then the eleventh month opens the reality where Allah if He takes the dot like a binary code, if you are nothing and enter in a state of nothingness and effacing oneself into the presence of that light, 
On the 11th month Allah dresses with the realities of 11. That if you are nothing in My presence Allah merely begins to send through Prophet a light onto the soul, onto the being that from your nothingness now appear. Means from the fana of nothing to baqa means now you have an existence in our presence with their permission. Means then they give you permission to rise. If at that time they rise, that rise, that one reflects from the reality of one and that is the reality of eleven and mirroring all the way to the twelfth month which is the Hajj. This is a hijrah into Divinely Presence. This is the hijrah and the reality of the pilgrimage of the soul. The soul's pilgrimage, the body's pilgrimage is going and doing all the things necessary by Sharia. But the soul's hil pilgrimage is that the Ramadan effaced it, brought it into the presence of the mirror, dressed it from the realities of the mirror and brought it into the presence of the hijrah in the twelfth month and the twelfth represents the secret of completion. We pray that Allah give us life to see the eleventh month and then to see the twelfth month and to be dressed by that twelfth month. The twelfth month this year they, they say it may be very exciting. All that they are talking about in other places, it is a falling on Arafah, Eid al-Adha and the realities of Eid al-Adha has to do with the realities of Sayyidina Mahdi The twelfth month is under the twelfth Imam that every month is guarded by the Ahlul Bayt of Prophet and other realities for Ashab and Nabi The twelfth month and the twelfth Imam has to do with Sayyidina Mahdi And that's why Ruhaniyat Sayyidina Mahdi is always on Arafah, a Jabal Rahmah he represents a tremendous blessing coming on to the nation and for the difficulties and sacrifices that are coming towards humanity that Sayyidina Mahdi has a important presence in that reality for munajat, for du'as and for sanctifying the nation. We pray that Allah led us to reach to those realities, to be dressed by those realities and blessed by those realities.